Were you getting kind of nervous? Um, yeah, you're always anxious, I'd say, to see your name come across the screen. And, um, you know, we were talking before it even started. It felt like uh, game day, you know, just, just really anxious to see how this would play out. But, you know, it's just so happy for our girls. Um, they've worked so hard. And, um, you know, a day like this is really emotional. And it's emotional because of all the hard work that's gone into, you know, building our program one step at a time. A lot of players uh, that have helped us lay the foundation that aren't here with us today that have graduated. Uh, an incredible group of young ladies that we get to coach uh, every day right now. I got a great staff. The support from the administration, support staff, this community. I mean, there's so many pieces uh, that go into being able to build a program and, and uh, have the success at this level. And so we're just really um, appreciative, thankful, and obviously really excited. And we talked last week that a lot of people maybe projected you as an 8-9 facing Connecticut as a possible second round opponent. To be in the 7-10 game and kind of get away from those one seeds, does that open up some more possibilities <laughs> for you? Well, you know, I, I we're excited about the bracket. Um, we're excited to get started on our first scout, which is obviously BYU. Uh, I have not seen them play this year. I've seen them play in the past, and they've always had a great um, program there and have had a lot of success. And so, you know, you, it's just one game at a time, and, um, you know, it's, it's not about bracketing. Our focus is simply going to be just on BYU and, and getting prepared for our first game. Coach, can you describe just that feeling when you saw Missouri across the board? Yeah, a lot of emotions. Um, you know, just seeing the, the emotions out of our players, um, a lot of tears and uh, tears of joy. Um, you know, they put in a lot of hard work. They know the, the um, you know, foundation that we've worked hard at, at building and, and building off it every year. And so, like I said, there's just, you know, it's hard to really articulate um, the emotions that go behind it, but it's because of the hard work, the persistence, the perseverance, um, the resiliency. Uh, that we've had to have year after year after year and you know like I've said before we're super excited about where we're at we're not satisfied um, but we're really proud of the growth that we've made over the last six years here at the University of Missouri. Some of the girls it seemed like when the Missouri State's name popped up like over you know thought for a second that might be them even though it was Texas A&M did that one get you at all? Well I think they've got some friends you know on that team okay. and there's uh, some uh, Rockbridge player and so you know I think there's some some ties to, to Missouri State um, I didn't catch all that you know we I, I don't know who was cheering and who was doing what but I'm really excited for Missouri State I mean to get two teams from this state and a team that we played earlier in the tournament I think that's outstanding and Kelly's done a great job there.